The 2012 Plastics at Sea Expedition continues the legacy of scientific research SEA has developed. Every weekday we get questions from one of the partner schools. My job is to get them answered, sent back to Woods Hole and put on a website. SEA's website is currently the conduit for information to a wide audience, posting essays, photography, and videos daily to elucidate the science and engage people in this evolving story. During our journey, educators and outreach specialists are developing curriculum resources. A technology that's really only been around for a few years. National Geographic contributor John Waterman is posting weekly updates on the Nat Geo website. Representatives from the New England Aquarium and the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry are collecting samples to foster a dialogue about this issue. Go to the New England Aquarium. We get over a million visitors a year. And when these people come in, the education team can send out squadrons of staff and volunteers to help people connect to our exhibits. The middle of the ocean, the gyre out here, is a really abstract place. And most people are never going to experience it here. This is an abstract problem unless you actually have something that you can hold in your hand and look at. Now, out of the small boat, we're going to be doing a tow. We really want to bring the research that's happening here aboard for Robert C. Stevens and make it accessible to the public. A lot of times, Scientific research is really hard for people to access. So what we're doing at the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry, OMSI, and the New England Aquarium is we are kind of the interpreters. We're bringing back the real samples that real scientists are looking at and evaluating, and we're going to make those accessible to the public. One of the most challenging things I've ever done, photographing and re-photographing the same 134 feet of the ship to try to come up with something new that shows the joy, the anguish, uh, and the amount of work that goes into researching these plastics. Through aquariums, museums, and presentations to the general public, we hope to personalize our global relationship with this plastic. The things I hope that we on the ship and through this student exchange can communicate to kids today is that you don't always have instant answers. I know everyone on board here would like to know right now do plastics cause harm to these organisms? We see them floating on them and, and to the fish that we find plastics in their guts. And I don't think we know that for certain now, and it may take years. Because I have kids, I'm all the more motivated to find out uh, not only what it is that they're going to inherit, but how uh, we might change and fix these issues like plastics.